Hi, my name is Wayman Harris and I am a 3D technical artist and full stack game developer. The story is about a baby that moves throughout a house. Now, the way I laid out this house is just like you would a, an actual game. Consider, if you will, each room in the house is a world. That means the kitchen would be a world, the living room, the dining room, the basement, the attic, the child's room. These rooms would all be worlds. But inside of each of these worlds are areas. So, for example, the kitchen has multiple areas under the sink. The refrigerator. The dishwasher. These actually become levels to the baby in each world. This story is about a child, or rather a baby, this toddler-like character that you customize who navigates throughout its entire home, like the house, every single room in the house. For the most part, the kid navigates through in search of candy. Now, obviously this kid likes candy and all kids do, right? But what makes this or these candies unique is the fact that the yellow ones, they're static, they're commonplace. You'll find them everywhere. And in the stories, the movie portions of this interactive movie, what you'll find is there's a blue piece of candy, a very special and unique piece of candy. Uh, it, it has human-like characteristics associated with how it behaves and how it moves. And the overall storyline itself is kind of built on the backbone of this blue piece of candy. Now, the kids will do anything to get to this blue piece of candy. It's the sweetest candy. It creates this sugar rush. So, yes, the kids get pretty excited when they can get a hold of this blue candy. You don't really catch the candy in the movie portions of this interactive experience, but once you take control of the character, um, once the gamified aspects of this, this uh, interactive software kicks in, that's where you can actually get a hold of the candy. So the candy hides in places and the character follows. Once the movie actually ends and the character enters one of these locations in search of the candy, of course, this is where the user has the opportunity to interact with the entire movie. The gamification aspects of the movie take place in each one of these levels. Under the sink, the baby tries to get the candy, but has to watch out for a mouse. So apparently his home has mice, and every location is unique in that aspect. In each level or stage, there is some deterrent stopping the child from getting the candy because they want the candy themselves. Once the child enters the refrigerator location, it will basically have the same, or at least the child, will have the same objective as it did under the sink. And these objectives, though they will grow in complexity, will be the same amongst all stages or levels. You have to try to get the blue candy, which causes the baby to have a sugar rush and knock the candy, the yellow candies, in the air, and then you can catch them as they come raining down. Now, in the process of doing that, in the refrigerator, there's this leftover lobster, which is clamming away at all of the candy in hopes to stop the baby from eating them. So, since this experience is timed, this will be some sort of roadblock to deter the user from actually uh, moving forward in progress and unlocking more of the story. Once the child enters the dishwasher, same objective, same as level one and two, under the sink and the refrigerator. The difference is there's a fish now hiding beneath soapy residue water. You can actually look down, this being a 3D immersive world, and actually see the fish swimming around in the soapy residue. The fish launches out of the water and tries to eat the candy. Now, why a fish is in the dishwater is a portion of the story that I won't explain yet, but as you play it, you'll find out. So what I will tell you is the fish jar will have a note on it 
which explains that the fish is missing, now how it got in there. The story will unfold as users play it, and this will be the dishwasher experience. I wanted to make sure that the user interface was extremely easy to navigate and very intuitive. I basically went with the idea that things that you don't see aren't important. So this option to expand and contract these different UI elements seemed like a good idea in this game gazing interactive experience. I didn't want to overthink it. I didn't want the traditional mobile style UI buttons. So what I did was try to incorporate some animations and story-like features and characteristics in the actual UI itself.